what's happened about it is for and honestly I do not think anyone would survive that fall. I had successfully found myself brought in an old Soviet helicopter to base camp. Stepping out on the glacier in all but a t-shirt and shorts, I tilt my glazer cut in re as the morning rays reflect off the beautifully studied but daughty rock formation. What had I just signed up to? Day two at base camp, just after 5am. about to begin. I was sent to camp one to begin our rotations and just drop off the food. Be interested with the altitude but I feel I'm okay. One hundred meters. One hundred meters? Easy. <laughs> camp one. Just had to dig my way out of a small crevasse. I felt surprisingly good throughout the initial climb, though I wasn't as fortunate the next time round with a bad batch of the runs upon my return to base camp. <laughs> base camp over there. I began to ascend the fixed lines, feeling slightly better though still severely dehydrated. The technical terrain escalated as we traversed the rock bands, ice walls and exposed ridge lines. I hit a brick wall eight hours in, lacking both energy and feeling the effects of altitude. It's making it away. Up to camp two. About three and a half hours in. Probably about three and a half to go. Four. <coughs> Clouds to begin to develop darker, thunder rumbles. I push up the last few pictures to shelter in time. Too late, nature unleashes her fury, sprayed in snow, visibility all but void, fingers freezing. I finally stagger into camp two. Just been breaking trail from camp two. You can see. We're just making our way up. Climbing towards Asia in about three hours. I think we've got camp three's over the saddle there. We'll come back and do that in a couple of days time. We must run up now. The ridge line here across the saddle and then where these guys are just doing the rock traverse. Small little tents in yellow. Uh, that's where we started a few days ago. We're going back down to base camp tomorrow. Bloody exhausting. Anyway. That's just been repelling down the mountain. Check, 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 and roll. So it's just been napping um, from the descent from camp two today. We ended up waking up in base camps uh, in winter wonderland. It's me. Just made up to camp too, it's about five o'clock. Get to spend the next hour blowing water. Falling snow, I'm doing camp duties. It's snowing outside again, so it's been a norm. I can't do, but we'll get there. Finally, perked on the exposed knife ridge, waiting for the wind to calm before making my bid to cross. Focusing on every step to maintain balance, the snow gives way under my foot. I slide too quick to self arrest. Saved by the line, relief. That's why you got to save him more. 
sitting on the knife ridge, I reposition my crampon and complete the crossing whilst taking a moment to scold myself. Careful, dickhead. So, you can see the rest of the group descending uh, down back to camp too. Decided to uh, call it quits for the day, even though we're about 100 metres from the summit. Uh, reason being, we're just going too slow. Uh, it was a really late start, 10.30, which, um, you know, honestly gives me a bit of shits. Hopefully I can pull it together, rest up tomorrow and then go for it again. But overall, I'm pretty frustrated. I'm gonna go up that again, and then across the ridge line to camp three, which is about there in the center. Right here, and then out to the summit. I stop and stare as I hear a scream and silhouette tumbling towards me. Gaining momentum, the slope of the mountain narrowly navigates the object and shrapnel to my left. Time slows, snow drip play on my face whilst I try to comprehend what had just happened. I don't really know what to think right now, but someone coming down from the descent, I don't know what's happened, but they're just fallen. They're pretty shaken up. Looks like the big is a big probably deceased. Honestly, I do not think anyone would survive that fall. Made the decision to descend, see if we can recover. Good body. What I can see, it's uh, down the road. No sign of movement. See the ice axe over there. What do you really think? How are the other guys thinking or communicating? It's extremely difficult in a foreign language. Check, check. Thank you, comes off. I just descended to the top on the rock wall, witness the fall. I suppose, in some ways, that's part of the risk of the mountaineering. The day after the incident, um, I started descending from Camp 2, which is up there. Still don't know what to think, to be honest. Uh, a lot of scenarios replayed in my head last night. But at the end of the day, nothing would have changed the outcome. I've read and watched my fair share of books and documents describing falls and fatalities. Never did I expect to witness such horrific incident on my first expedition. As with most that take up this sport, I'm well aware of the risk associated with the hobby. Though, Time has passed and I still don't believe that the reality of the situation has fully sunk in. It's the last time.